All right, Leo or Leo cross watcher. So I just spoke about this in my cancer message, but I was going to do it for a general, but I think I'm actually going to read it in yours. I must have channeled this message for you. Last night I was going to bed and like I was getting a person come through strongly for whoever's going to resonate with this message, Leo or cross watcher. You can also reverse this. Whoever came through last night, I could hear them like not hear them. I didn't hear voices guys. When I say hear them, <laughs> sometimes you get new people and they're like, what do you mean hear them? Like, you know, a lot of you already know channeling. So basically what somebody was saying was I wrote it down exactly what they were saying. There is only so much I can do. I want to say more, do more. I'm limited where I'm currently at. They may mean where I'm currently at in my life. Hear me now when I say you are changing me. And this changing is precisely why the boundaries are only temporary. I can't tell you when currently, but I can tell you, yes, what you're thinking is correct. That's what I heard. I'm like, I had to start writing. I was journaling. You know, when you start journaling and you start doing that, you're like, oh, that ain't coming for me. And I was like, oh, I'm going to do a message for tomorrow. So I'm going to be like, it'll be general. But no, this is for you. Let me, let me look at that again. <sighs> There's only so much I can do. You know what this reminds me of? And I don't want to be negative, okay, guys? I don't want to be negative, so just know that. It kind of reminds me of somebody here who is who is going to try some type of excuses with you. Now, that being said, maybe it's not all excuses, but the way that I think it's going to translate to you is, well, I could use the same excuses or I could use the same things, you know? There's only so much I can do also. Do you think the universe is throwing me a bone? Like, I don't know. I feel like you're really serious here. Whoever's watching this, vice versa. Somebody here is going to be really serious with another. Like, look. Um, I mean, yeah. I'm also very limited. And I also haven't had it easy. And I've also had things. And I also have mental illness or I also have no money or I also need to work or I also blah 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 it's like but you you don't hear me making excuses about why I couldn't do this and that you know what I mean oh shit like like you don't feel angry to me I think you're past the point of angry or you're just probably disappointed in somebody here it could be in anyone guys it could definitely be in a partner it could be in a friend, it could be in a lover, it could be in a company, it could be in a family situation where it's like, yeah, well, I understand you're busy or I understand you have this and that, I understand you have work. Uh, I also have work or I also have a lot of responsibility and I somehow still make time or I would have or I tried, but you wanna know why I gave up or you wanna know why I moved away or you wanna know why I pulled back or I, stopped replying or responding or keeping communication and contact with you or didn't really try anymore and I don't is because I'm not going to be the only one. I don't know. I feel like you may have had someone here who I'll just say this. I feel you and uh, I would like to give you a hug energetically and tell you that this is one of the main reasons that I, I respect the fuck out of Leo's. Now, again, you don't have to be a Leo watching this, but you're definitely taking that fucking energy on. Because Leo's, I was raised by one, for one. So I definitely take on a lot of Leo energy because I had a great example. And my daughter's a Leo. My nephew's a Leo. I have a lot of Leo's, okay, if I can even... And then the one time that I was told my birth time, which I ended up finding out was a fucking lie, I was supposedly a Leo, uh, which... God knows my birth time. I'll never know. But the one that I was told that was a lie was supposedly I was a Leo North Node, whatever that fucking means. Um, there's something in my eye. It's like a disappointing masculine. You know why I say that? Because like all of a sudden I've got like this floater in my eye. <sighs> you ever see that? You get like trash in your eye for makeup or if you don't wear makeup, you get just shit in your eye. Sleep or whatever and you're like, now it's starting to go away, but... Um, 
this is the right side of my body, which is the masculine side. And so it's like a masculine here, maybe the one who has kind of disappointed someone or a masculine energy. So it could be a fire sign, another fire sign or air signs. They're also masculine energy. So Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or actually a male could be really disappointing here where it's like, mm -mm. or more than one could be more than one person, more than one masculine where it's like, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Now, you can also take Chinese Zodiac into consideration, too. There are certain Chinese Zodiacs that are yin and some that are yang. So some that are feminine, some that are masculine. But anyway, going back to that, you notice how quickly that did that little eye thing just now? And then it went away? That's how quickly somebody is comes around. They may they may come around every now and then, but they're no sooner there. They no sooner show up for you. Shoot, sooner, Sean, 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 Shane, Shen, it starts with an S. Somebody starts with an S, or maybe it's just bullshit or shit. It's shitty. It's shitty how somebody's done you, or a company, or a family member, or a couple of people. And you could use the same fucking excuses, you know? Somebody's like, I'm not gonna do it behind me, I'll put it behind me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really step up now, and I'm gonna, you know. Some of you that, now this is very specific. Some of you, somebody hadn't been able to step up for you because they've been too busy chasing ass other places. Like they've been too busy trying to, you know, play full house with another person or other people maybe more than one at different times you know but fuck you right to hell with you or somebody's more worried about their job and stacking their money their coins their bills their relationship but it's like when their family needs them or their kids need them or their parents need them or their friends need them or something it's like well we're not really there fuck you anyway the good thing about you guys is <sighs> Whoever's watching this video, again, you absolutely do not have to be a Leo. But the energy here is like, I'm not, you're, I'm as in you. You're not being petty. Could you? Yeah, I think at this point you might even get a hall pass here for being petty because fuck, you know. Now it's a little irritating. It's just a little irritating. It's like, you know, I could use the same excuses. Like, I have my own responsibilities too and I still fucking make time. I still try. You know, you think I don't fucking get depressed? You think I don't get sad? You think I don't need help too? You think that, like, I don't, you know? And and it's like when someone's there, they're only half-assed there. They're only, they've only ever been half-assed there. Only, they only ever half-assed mean something. Or they only ever half-assed do something. This could be somebody who's in a fucking relationship now. And they're like, their partner is half-assed. Like, they're lazy. They're, they're lazy compared to, to you. But this is not you. And you're like, nope, not my story. It's somebody on the outside of you. If you have grown kids, could be their situation where you may notice that they have a fucking lazy ass partner. And you're like, wow, why do you have to do everything? Something like that. And you're like, wow, it's just a fucking shame. You know, you may even want to call out their partner. That's specific. If some of y'all, maybe your own mama want to call, they want to call out somebody that you care about. And they want to, I'm hearing, now this is specific as shit. Somebody may want to wring your neck. Hell, this could be someone who's passed over and they're on the other side. Whoever it is, it's a strong feminine energy. <laughs> and they, they want to wring your neck in a way, but they also want to cuddle you at the same time because they want to just say, snap out of it. And if you already have and it's like an ex of yours, they think your ex is like no for good or good for nothing. And they think that because they feel like you've done everything or you do everything or that this person doesn't help at all or not really. Oh, it's my baby kitty. There you go. When I think of a cat, I think of a fucking Leo. Of course they want to keep you. Of course they want you back. Of course they want you to come back to the job. Watch the cancer message. Of course they want you to be friends again. Or of course they now want to come around. Or of course they want to, you know, whatever. And, and it, but I'm not saying harden your heart. I'm not saying don't let someone back in and be forgiving and give someone a second chance. That's up to you. But I'm also saying... Don't keep turning the other cheek to be slapped in it. You know what I mean? At some point, you're going to run out of cheeks. At that point, you got to turn around and give them the ass, you know? Well, not give them the ass. Don't give them the ass. Like, why really is somebody coming around when they do? Because now they feel, like, I don't know, almost like guilty or because they care what other people think or because now other people are catching on or because they're afraid that you're not going to leave them any money or because they're afraid that, uh, you know... 
they, they're not gonna have anybody at the end of the day like why really have they learned their lessons are they genuinely sorry are they going to change their behavior you know what I mean let's get back into what I was writing last night I am limited where I'm currently at yeah no shit Sherlock you think I'm not either like I understand that I totally get that now I'm channeling you I get that I get that you're limited I get that you know let's say these are teenagers who are dating that's just the first thing that popped in my head. You know, the, the one of the partners may be like, well, I would get us a house and I would do this, but I'm limited, you know, because I'm not 18 yet. And it's like, well, I know you're not 18, nor am I, but I still have two jobs and I have a car and I've got my license. Like, you haven't even got your fucking permit yet. You're not even trying. Like, I feel like you're not even trying. You didn't even try. Like, there's a difference between, you know, but you haven't even fucking tried. You didn't even fucking try. So don't give me that. That's what I'm feeling. Hear me now when I say you are changing me. I don't want to be changing you. I don't want to be the reason you're changing yourself. It's nice if I'm like a good motivation or an inspiration to you, maybe even a muse, something to inspire you to change yourself. But I do not want to be the reason that you are changing or the reason that you want to start coming around now because now you realize you've upset me. Because that doesn't tell me that there's changed behavior. And this changing is precisely why the boundaries are only temporary. Like, what does that even mean? And this changing is precisely why the boundaries are only temporary. Wow. So someone's kind of confident that you're going to let them back in. This is very similar to Cancer's message. They're kind of connecting. I like that. I like when the messages connect because that means that we're right on flow. So, uh... Whew. Now, a love situation, a current partner or even an ex here, that may be a little dicey here. They're not sure if they can come back in. They're almost trying to energetically convince the universe to convince you. But if it's a family member, in whatever way, connected through a bloodline or connected through family somehow, this may be an individual. If it's more than one, this may be individuals that are almost like, well, we're family, so, you know. I know you'll let me back in, like I know you will, and it's like, do you? How will you know me? Do you know me? I can't tell you when currently, of course you can't, you've never been able to tell me when, I've just had to figure it out day by day by myself, haven't I? I've had to figure it out by myself, with no help from you. Wow, this is strong. I fucking love you. You're amazing. I totally relate to this message and it, there's nothing wrong with it. You're not being hateful. This is just matter of fact. It's very Queen of Swordsy. It's very like Nancy Grace. Some of you could be connected to a Libra. But I can tell you, yes, what you're thinking is correct. Oh God. Somebody may even try to give you a guilt trip in some way. Not, not as a guilt trip. Oh. Why they've been caught up. See that? Why they've been caught up on something. Why they've been hung up and haven't been able to come through for you or really help you as much or really show up for you or really, you know, pick up the slack or something and it's been all on you or they haven't really, whatever. I'm hearing shucking responsibilities. They're going to come up, with, aside from coming up with excuses, what was the other word? Not not guilt trip. It's like a sob story. Make you feel sorry for them. But you won't. You will not. It doesn't mean that you won't have some type of empathy for somebody because you understand, but you... It's like you've spotted this person now, you know what I mean? Like once you've seen them for who and how they really are, it wouldn't matter what they say at this point because you can see into their soul and their soul is influencing 
their actions and the lack of action. Their soul, vice versa, somebody's soul here is influencing. It's not what's going on in their life. It's who they are. Doesn't mean you hate them. Don't know the number, not answering. All right, guys, we're going to leave it there. Thank you guys for being here with me, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.